I was at camp this week with a thousand teenagers over in New Mexico, and the seniors from Grace Church got together and wanted to have a question and answer session. It was wonderful. I love doing it. And uh, perhaps the most telling question came from these are high school seniors. They said, what do, I, what do we need to know facing university, facing college, um, going forward? What, what protections should we have? And I said, you need two things. Two things, without which you will be a victim of the world. Number one, you need conviction. You need conviction. You have to have some non-negotiables. You have to have some hills you die on. And you have to know why, and you have to be able to substantiate those in the Word of God and in your own conscience. Without convictions, you are a cork in the surf. You'll end up wherever they take you. You need convictions. And what a blessing to have been, for most of them, brought up in the influences of Grace Community Church where they have those convictions from those who surround them here and from many of them, their own families. You have to have convictions. Your convictions are the immovable pillars of your character. They're the structure. Because what they're going to want to do in the university is crush those convictions. Because they're biblical convictions and they're true, and the world is ungodly and the world is run by Satan who's a liar, they're going to attack you with lies. And they're going to attack your convictions about God, about man, about sin, about righteousness, about conduct, about morality, about everything. You have to have convictions. Second thing you have to have is critical thinking. Critical thinking. And I think for this particular period of history, this is what is most under attack. And let me tell you how to look at that. Universities these days, certainly in the humanities side of things, universities these days are concerned about ideologies. You hear a lot about that, an ideology. Well, what do they mean by an ideology? It's just another word for a philosophy. But ideologies in the current climate are seductive and attractive to people because they are mindless. They are mindless. Here's how an ideology works. What's wrong in America? White privilege. What's wrong in America? Systemic racism. What's wrong in America? Abuse of women. They want you to buy into the fact that everything that's wrong in America can be explained by an ideology. They don't want you to think critically about it. What's wrong in America? Some people have money and others don't. What's wrong in America? Corporations are getting rich and people are being abused. What's wrong in America? It can be reduced to an ideology, a simple, single idea. This is stupidity. And universities are really bent on teaching people to be stupid. This is infantile. You can't say what's wrong in America and systemic racism, and no matter what it is. If the bus doesn't show up on your corner on time, well, it's systemic racism. <laughs> if you have mold on your bread, well, it's systemic racism. That, that's the stupidity of that oversimplification of everything that is easy for people to suck up and be seduced by because it's a one-size-fits-all answer to everything and you can put your brain in a bag and bury it. You have to think critically. You have to understand. For example, I'll give you an illustration. In the United States, 99.9% .9 of the population survives COVID. 
That's a fact. You can't me mesh that up with the behavior they're requiring. How about this one? Get vaccinated. And you're saying to yourself, well, let's see, they lied about Russia. The FBI lies. CIA lies. The National Health Organization lies. The World Health Organization lies. The CDC lies. The, the director of all of this lies because he says something different every time he opens his mouth. The politicians lie. Uh, they lied about um, an incident in Chicago. They're just lies and lies and lies and lies and lies. And then they say to you, be vaccinated, it's good for you. <laughs> I know why people aren't getting vaccinated. Because people don't believe they're capable of being confident they're being told the truth. Simple. It's the old Aesop's fable about the boy who cried wolf, 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 wolf. There never was a wolf, and when there was a wolf, nobody showed up. You can't keep lying and then expect people to believe you. You have to think critically and thoughtfully and carefully. You have to realize, CDC reports death rate from the normal flu last year was 99% lower. Oh, really? What happened to the flu? Where did it go? It went into the COVID statistic. The chaos of deception and lies forces you, if you want to navigate the world in which you live, to think critically. Are, are there things wrong with capitalism? Capitalism can be abused just like socialism is abused. Anything can be abused because sinners are engaged in it. Any kind of relationships, any, any kind of anything in human relationships is going to have good, bad, and indifferent. But what they want you to do is accept the, buy the package and shut down alternative discussions. That's why they cancel culture, because they want you to buy the ideology, they don't want you to think critically. But we think critically, because we think biblically. And we have the mind of Christ. First Corinthians 2.16, you have the mind of Christ. 